An update now on a story we brought you yesterday on 7 News at Noon. It involves a fire at a Fort Lauderdale home that trapped a family's pets inside. One did not make it, but another did, and now we're getting the chance to meet her. 7's Brandon Beyer is standing by live to make the introduction. Brandon? Well, Christine, Ashley, this is the dog that survived that fire. This is nine-month-old Sweet Pea, and you can see the condition for yourself uh, that she is in this afternoon. She has, according to her doctor, a long road to recovery, but she has also her neighbors to thank, the first responders uh, who responded to this fire who were able to uh, offer medical attention just as soon as they got on that scene. And uh, she's under some um, strong medication right now at this point. Obviously, this yellow tube here is, is what is feeding Sweet Pea. Uh, the doctor says it's a long road to recovery, but she does have a very good fighting chance. Let me show you the video from that fire yesterday, again, in Fort Lauderdale. This was a house fire. Uh, neighbors were the ones to get in first. Um, Sweet Pea's parents didn't make it, unfortunately, but they were able to get her out of there safely. Uh, first responders got there. Worked on the fire, obviously, and then went to work on Sweet Pea before they got her here. It's a specialty vet in Fort Lauderdale where she is now uh, making her recovery. We talked with the doctor about exactly what she is facing in the months ahead. She does have a chance, and she's extremely lucky to be in this stage. Number one, because of the first responders, fire department and neighbors. A lot of times when animals are trapped, um, we don't have people that are right on the scene. And she was really fortunate to have resuscitation right away. So Dr. Tossi says uh, it's second and third degree burns to 30 to 40 percent of her body. But she really does believe that because of uh, the care she's getting here, because of the uh, first responders' efforts, that... Uh, Sweepy does have a chance. There's a GoFundMe account that some of the neighbors have helped organize for the owner of this dog. We'll link that to our website at WSVN.com. So if you're interested in helping out with uh, Sweepy here, you can do so. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. Brandon Beyer, 7 News. All right, Brandon.